Hi everybody, this is Chris. This is Matt. And this month we're talking about Karateka. I was going to say this week, but really yeah. we do two games a month, each one opposite a month. This is our what we call our short game, uh, meaning it's something we can play in a day or two, get a feel for it, maybe even get all the way through it, and uh, come back and talk about it. Yeah. Again, give everybody a heads up. It's not a review. Don't treat it as a review. We're going to dissect it and pull parts of it apart. It's going to feel like a review, but it's just two assholes talking about a game that they played. Yep. No and I, I don't even know if we're pronouncing it right. Karateka or Karateka? Well, Karate- since it's... Uh, Karate- I, I know that's a big thing for people Karate- as to which one it is. But since it's supposed to be Karate and not Karate, uh, I'm going with Karateka. All right. I'll go with it too, unless I say it differently. Exactly. Uh, and this, I think, is already proven. We don't have a script. We don't know what we're doing. No, no, um, no idea. I'm going to get this going. Yeah. And... I don't, also don't know how to pronounce Broderbund. I've always said Broderbund. Bro. I used to say border bund, but that's definitely wrong because that is it's not definitely spelled not wrong. Like that. No. <laughs> I grew up saying it wrong, so yes, doesn't matter. It's... Yeah, are they still a thing? I don't know. This was their biggest game until like 1987. It sold a half million copies. Really, really, that surprises me. Me too. Which I think uh, kind of goes into something we should just get out of the way right now. This is a classic, came out in 1984, came out for a ton of platforms. Um, and I don't think either of us liked it. No, not really. I can, I appreciated parts of it, but overall I didn't really have the best time with this game. Uh, it's kind of repetitive, but also short. It's like that, that old comedy bit, the food's terrible, but there's so little, and there's so little of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but not not really my thing. Like I was able to get pretty far just by mashing middle kick or high kick, depending on my mood. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's depth there. Like you can play it like with timing and all that shit, but at the end of the day, you can just mash yeah. mash the crappy controls and, and get through it. See, I used to have it well, I was gonna say my problem wasn't mashing the crappy controls. I rarely lost in a fight. I would lose because there's two stances. And this is one of the things. The controls are weird. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's two modes of moving around. There's fight mode and walking mode. Right, which is awful. Which is awful. It, it, I don't know. I We'll talk about how what we might polish up on the ends later. But f- the point is, if you're in walking mode and you get hit, you die. Instantly. Instantly. One hit. Doesn't matter what your health was. Doesn't matter anything else. You're you're done. Yep. Part of me likes that, but most of me doesn't. Uh, no part of me likes that. What yeah. part of you likes it? The asshole part. <laughs> <laughs> so most of you likes it. So most of me likes it. No. Um, I like something that makes you... Because I've done martial arts for a long time. Mm-hmm. So, what I can that kick, I oh, well, we will talk about that kick later. Um, the high kick bothers me. I, I'm not going to be able to get past. It. I'm sorry, we're going to have to talk about it for a second. That the sure. the hands up thing. Wait, what? What bothers you? When he when he throws his high kick. Yeah. The backhand kind of goes out mm-hmm. to like supposedly be for balance. Mm-hmm. No martial artist, no, no good martial artist would do that. And it just, it's, it bothers me on a level because you should always be keeping your guard where your guard. You might have to lean back, but you still shouldn't much. Your your body should never be out of control. And I understand I'm ripping on a pixel game from 1984 about its proper karate technique. But this is the guy who did rotoscoping in Prince of Persia. So this is important to him. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, the, the rotoscoping is kind of what makes this game unique. And the I love the art style, too, and the cinematic 
cutscenes. Like that's all awesome. But you're right. Like the the point is that it moves realistically. Right. And and that is one thing that just every time I see, I wouldn't throw high kicks just because it bothers me. Um, but that's me. I'm weird that way. I threw I threw your share of high kicks, man, because it was my go to. <laughs> www I, at one point i was eating a slice of pizza and playing this just by hitting w and like mashing <laughs> food in my face oh my god that's awesome uh yeah. so you played with the keyboard i did yeah okay. yeah i used a joystick i used a joystick yeah i never use joysticks i don't know why i don't know why either they you know they're designed for action games like bust them out don't control or shame me. I'm not controlling. He shame. uses Q A Z W S X and uh, period and comma to move, and that's interesting because it kind of makes sense. It's no ESDF, but well, what is? What <laughs> is? <laughs> what is? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to fight with you about it today. I know it's it's just fun to poke. It's uh, like water off a duck's back today. <laughs> right. I'm not doing it. Uh, I like the little cinematic cutscenes they show. The art style is so cool. Like yeah. this scene with the bench and everything's black and there's the sunlight coming through. And yeah. for some reason, everyone's got white hair, but that's fine. Yeah. Here it looks like you're fighting like a, a, a like a vet tech in a mask and a hairnet. <laughs> I don't get that, but. Well, and one of my comments in here is like this guy obviously read the evil overlord list. Like all the helmets, you can see who they are. The enemy's not too good for death. He doesn't. The, his people don't wait for him to get into position. Talking about that, if you're running and they hit you, they're not waiting for you to set up. They will pop you the moment you get close. Oh fuck yeah, yeah. No self destruction it, of the castle at the end. It doesn't give some exposition before he starts trying to kick your ass. It doesn't lead his enemies into battle. He's at the back. Yep. His pet is treated with respect. It sits on his shoulder and I love that importance. bird. Yeah. So cool. The bad guy is awesome in this. Yeah. Like he just seems like a total badass. No, he feels badass. He just like points out the door and tells people to go and they they go. Yeah. Why isn't my life like that at all? I think people point and tell you what to do all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that high kick. Yeah, You're right. It, anyway. Yeah. I think uh, this is still the demo. Um, yeah. You're too embarrassed for me to see you're playing. The oh, bowing. No, what not. is the bowing? The, you just. <laughs> you guys are just going to bow to each other for a while? Oh, what is the bowing isn't... for? I didn't bow once. I bow at the beginning because it'll make the guy bow, but other than that, it doesn't. Um, it's cool. Like, it's a neat little thing. Like, the karate definitely. Definitely had a moment in the 80s. It was a long moment. It was like the mid to late 80s. It was everything. Everything was like the first Nintendo game I played was Kung Fu. You don't see that anymore. There's fighting games, but none of them are based around martial arts at all. No, we kind of talked about that in my martial arts class at the time about how we didn't, we were running out of good martial arts movies. They were fading and we were watching class attendants fade with them. And we're like, man, yeah. we need another turtles movie. We need another something to get people in. You don't get people to stay in class with it, but it like if 10 people show up, one stays. Mm -hmm. When I taught, I told everybody like when I've had people take over class after me or go off to start their own class, I always told them there's a rule of tens. Uh, one in ten people you ask to show up will will say they'll show up. One in ten who say they'll show up will show up. Mm -hmm. One in ten will come back for the next class. One in ten will make it to white belt. One in ten will make it to actually like their mid belt. One in ten will make it close to black. And then one in ten of those will make it to black. That's how narrow it is for for somebody to actually go through all those gates and get to be a black belt because yeah. there's so many times and reasons to drop out. And it's, if it's a good class, it's hard work. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, end of the eighties, just martial arts fell off a cliff and now we have uh, mixed martial arts kind of back, but it doesn't yeah. have the, and I mean, my class was kind of a mixed martial arts thing. So but you'd, you'd never go and and play a mixed martial arts video game and bow to the guy and like wear the gi and the whole nine. There's like, no samurai ninja. There's mystery. nothing like that. 
Uh, it's a shame. It like is. I get, I in the late seventies, America went through this brief obsession with trucking, like when Convoy came out and okay. there some okay, trucking. Like... I get why that went away. Yeah, <laughs> but martial arts is still cool. No one does it. No, no it's not like a thing anymore. No. I mean, I'm sure there's subcultures of mm-hmm. you know martial arts, but uh, it's disappointing. Yeah. Like you'd never, you'd never play. You'd never make kung fu again. No, I mean for a lot of reasons. Right. Like Ninja Gaiden, all those games. I would actually like to remake Karate Champ. Yeah, for the Commodore. Didn't well, we play that? <laughs> I have played that. Uh, Trey and I played that a lot, actually. Um, no, I mean like a good stand-up because most controllers now have the two sticks. Mm-hmm. And that was the original Karate Champ controls. It wasn't buttons. Yeah. It was two sticks to move everything. I'd like a legit karate, no fireballs, no anything else, two sticks to control martial mm-hmm. arts game. I think that would be a blast. Never going to happen because no one wants it. Yeah. No one wants it. Um, I kind of want it. <laughs> While we're talking about stuff like that, there's no block. Yeah. Yeah, I was lamenting the the lack of block because I feel like, like I said, I, I know you can play this with some depth and you can work on your timing and you can get good at it. But what what is, it's like getting good at fencing and pirates. Like, yeah, you can. Yeah. Or you can mash the button and win. Like, it doesn't matter. Uh, but if you had block, that would have at least added some kind of uh, better mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. Some kind of more ability and timing. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I'm pretty sure uh, you can block in martial arts. I think it's a I, thing. I think so. It's been a while, but as I yeah. remember, I remember blocking. I remember yeah. practicing different blocks. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I think if you kick the guy in the balls when he's throwing a high kick, it should do more than one point of damage. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Most definitely. Yeah, there were many times I was like, oh, man, I just kicked that guy in the balls for real. Um, I do feel like there's not a lot of weight to the hits. Like, there is a little bit of shuffle back, so there's there's more than none, which did impress me for a game of this era. Yeah. But the it time still I felt papery. I felt it the most when when kicking down the doors. When you yeah. kick down the doors and the thing shows up, you feel like you're busting down a door, and it feels pretty great. Mm-hmm. But when you're fighting, it's kind of, you know, it's like you said, it's something. There's some shuffle back, uh, but it's not dramatic. Yeah. This first level drove me fucking nuts because you you're at the end and guys just keep coming. You managed to get there so quickly. There's irritating. a number of guys, yeah, that just come out and you just gotta yeah supposedly just you can run through the door before they all get out i might manage to pull that off here but hmm. you're running some risk um yeah what i did think was a nice touch is there is different ai for different enemies hmm. and yeah it, again i didn't notice because i was just mashing the... just holding the button down uh the guy with the two horns on his head yeah uh, he I likes the that punch. guy yeah, actually, I did kind of notice that. Like, I did notice yeah. some people punch more, and some people kind of have a different timing. That is cool. That I, guy's the horn guy is awesome. Yeah, I didn't really realize that till the last guy. The when I played uh, first time a couple weeks ago, I did a quick run through then, and I did a quick run through uh, yesterday on this. And for the first time ever, without cheating, without save states, without anything else, I beat the game. Proud of you. Uh, I'm proud of me for a game I don't like. That I'm pretty yeah. happy I managed to get through it. I abused snapshots, although it's hard to take them because things kind of happen pretty quick in this yeah. game. Except the fights. <laughs> <laughs> right. The fighting's slow. That uh, fucking bird. Can we just... Yeah, let's I, talk about I the bird. I never, ever, except maybe Conan, Halls of Volta, played a game where I like the bird. They're like the most irritating enemies. Yeah. Uh, it flies at you for no reason. Like, it's just a, a gotcha. Yeah. Like, ah, gotcha, gotcha running. The game's got a couple gotchas. And uh, considering the load time and no save points and 
no like multiple lives not okay um, no like the first time in here we'll hit the birds soon and you just have to know on this level you don't ever run because a bird will come out of nowhere and hit you yep uh you you can hit knock it away but but if you're in run mode you're just done but but if it hits you while you're standing yeah you're done which is stupid like that sucks Mm -hmm. that 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 sucks because it's not telegraphed if it just did damage to you i'd be like oh yeah fucking bird whatever but it kills you and like i'm trying to run i'm trying to go for it because i don't want to have this endless parade of assholes coming out at me i just want to get through it and then the fucking bird comes right fuck that bird totally agree with you i seriously and i think i said that in our last thing i can't wait to talk to you about the bird <laughs> oh man i hate that bird you're gonna you're gonna get to it here as soon as you beat uh yeah this guy whatever uh, shredder here yeah 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 i've learned how to like move in on these guys based on when they're kicking and stuff and it it helped me speed up a little but yeah, there is like some timing, like you can pull off a certain number of attacks and you're before you kind of have to put your foot down, like you yep. can do two or three kicks really fast. So you can learn their timing and when to move in. And uh, if, if you you're want. really good at Street Fighter, where you're like counting frames of animation, this will be a cakewalk to you because oh, that yeah. really is what you want to do. You want to see an animation trigger and then you want to do something based on that animation trigger um or hold down the w key yeah actually you can't hold it down you have to mash it Got to over mash and over it. again okay. bad, 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 bad. what i think is significant about this game other than the awesome art style the interesting movement i'm trying to be positive here right uh is what came after this because this was the what spawned prince of persia yes eventually and prince of persia was an important unique game and mm-hmm. fuck this bird nice <laughs> Got Thank him. you for kicking that bird in the <laughs> fucking face. I love that. That made my day. Oh, here, comes here he again. comes. He's coming no. back for some more. Oh, okay, no. Yeah, he gets me a couple times there. It's a cool bird. Yeah. And this guy with a fucking uh, Wi-Fi router on his head. Yeah, this is the guy who likes to punch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought it was the deer guy that no. punches. This, this is, yeah. This guy likes to punch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, does look like a wi-fi router doesn't it it does look like a wi-fi router. that's pretty i cool. have that yeah if you wanted to go back and play this game um even though it originated on the apple II, even the developer says the commodore version or the atari 800 version those are his favorite those are the best versions of the game yeah um, i can totally see that um, did you try the apple version i did once it's, I've, I've tried that. I tried the 7800 version. I have it for the 7800 here as well. Um, I compiled Vice on the Mac to try to play this while I was on vacation. That was a nightmare. Oh, I should I should have tried the Apple version before I went through all that shit. Yeah. I'm sure it wasn't much different. Um, I saw somebody else play the DOS version. The DOS version runs faster to me, but that might have <laughs> just been their cycles. They might have just... Had their yeah. up too high. Um, let's talk about the health. Yeah, it's weird. It regenerates, and when you do more damage to the other guy, you kind of like get more health. I think is that true? I think that it's just my... over time. Okay. And when you kill him, it resets to a certain count, which is nice because there's no fucking way I would be able to play this game if if it could. Well, it feels good when when you get him down to like two. Or when you're down to like two and then you come back. Yeah, that's that's a good moment. That's a good gaming moment. Well, here's the first... Like this game I was playing, and I don't know if I've seen it yet, but um, when I beat some of the guys early in, because eventually I get to the point where I can get through like three or four guys without getting hit. Uh, it actually... It resets your health to a number, which means if you have less, it gets bumped up. If you have more, it gets knocked down. Hmm. which i wasn't a fan of no that's not cool no i didn't notice yeah get him get him get him so I looked up, all right beautiful <laughs> i looked up broader bund yeah and they, they make like print shop kind of software now and that's it calendar creator that was uh, their big thing back then too they just made a speaking games yeah 
they did uh calendar creator clip art um yeah some they're print still shop. they're still doing it are they yeah a thousand royalty free images of recreation Oof. uh yeah how the mighty have fallen oh man i gotta put this on our list while i'm thinking about it um mavis beacon teaches typing no although i do want to look at that again sometime no uh holy Boulder shit Dash. they still sell fonts oh balder dash boulder dash yeah i don't know if i played that it's like a puzzly uh dig dug it's the best way i can describe it okay um yeah. Basically, you got to move around, collect diamonds, and not have boulders fall on you. Hmm. I'll put that. Yeah, on we'll list. do it. Yeah, we'll give it its day in court. Right. Oh man, um, that looks that looks rough. I'm looking at it. Okay. Well, I trust it's, you. Whatever. It's rough. It's but it'll be fun. We got to um, play Prince of Persia, dude. We got to play Prince of Persia. It came. He came pretty far in like five years. Yeah. Because that game is top shelf. I th- I think I remember <laughs> it being good. That's why we play him. I thought Auto Duel was good, and then we went back. <laughs> yeah, but you hated this game. Like you I were mad this about game. this game before we even played it. Which no, I this I was a request, it and it goes to show that even if I don't like it, I'm still gonna take your request seriously. Uh, <laughs> I will say I've moved from hate to uh, begrudging disappointment. Um, I, I'm I'm moving down, but. I think I'm glad that I played this because I really like the that it feels like a movie. Like I think there's things about it that are unique and interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm glad I played it, but like never played as a it game again. as a game. Not yeah. not anything to write home about. And I think that's what moved me down is seeing the other parts of it, the silent film aspects, and really taking it apart for this video. And listing yeah. all the things I liked about it, I had to go, you know what, there's there's a lot of stuff in here to pull out and look at. And from a game development point of view, that are worth visiting. Um, You're taking your time with this guy. I'm yeah. impressed by watching this. Yeah, it's a good it's a good. uh love letter to like Shaw brothers kung fu movies kind of because yeah. i could totally see this being a Shaw brothers 36 chambers whatever kung fu movie mm-hmm. all the unique bad guys and the i mean they're not unique they have different hats <laughs> right i love that they have different hats yeah. that makes me happy on some weird level like the deer hat guy the uniform well but we want to be individuals okay you can wear your own richard bring your own hat to work day yeah it's, it's casual so friday at the dojo <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna wear my death star guy who turns on the laser hat yeah <laughs> that's what he looks like i love that um things i would add though if i was gonna remake this game add blocking yeah speed up the combat slightly um uh, mm-hmm. You could get away with using more buttons on the joystick, so the controls, which are weird. Oh, by the way, fuck this gate. Right this gate birds, is a motherfucker. This yeah. gate. Uh, yeah. And the way you solve it is so stupid. It's like it's like trying to trigger the the automatic door at the grocery store. It's yeah. ridiculous. It's not a good. And you don't know, like you don't know that right. thing's gonna fall on you. You know what I mean? Right. I was like, I was going for it because I didn't want any more people to come out, and the gate killed me. And like I said, I abuse safe states quite a bit for this. As you but should. As your first was, playthrough, I would. There we go. And then you got to just charge through there, but it, it'll crush you again. It's not like a yeah. free pass. And it, I think it hurts you when you're running into it, it too. It hurts you when you're running into it, but if you just like, keep doing that. What the fuck that, is that? Yeah. It'll what let kind you of stupid get through? bullshit is that? Anyway. Anyway, so I'd speed up combat. I'd ditch the insta-deaths and or add a life's counter. I would ditch running mode entirely. No need for that. I don't know that I'd ditch running mode, but I wouldn't make it kill you. Yeah. Like, it should be part of your health. Uh, I would add... Like, I'd add a health bar. I, I think that would be... And, like, a permanent health bar. And then just have everybody do less damage to you. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe something like at make the bowing like restore energy or something like if you bow to them beforehand and risk getting kicked in the face, mm-hmm. you know, some sort of 
uh, risk reward system to get energy back. Yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. speed when I say speed it up too. I don't mean too much. I like that it's a tactical figure out how to get past stuff. Yeah. I mean, throw a couple more frames in there, smooth it out a little bit. You're, you're good to go. Get your, tighten the controls down to where hitting them does what you want to do. There have been a couple times where I would try to kick or try to move, and it would do the opposite. Mm-hmm. And obviously by this point, I had gotten a lot figured out. So um, Yeah. This guy's mask is the best. Yeah. Yeah. I ran this at like 200% speed. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, so mine seems faster, but it's also weird because sometimes when like you share this with me over the internet, yes. so sometimes it looks a little slower too. So I don't know. No, it's slow. It's really it's, slow. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you want to play, I've got a couple of games here listed. Maybe you can list some too of what, you know, your recommendations are. If you want good Kung Fu games from this time, uh, Yar Kung Fu was one of my favorites is a is kind of a Jackie Chan style kung fu game. Um, cool. I would try that. It's it's basically single player. You're fighting against somebody else with a weapon and you don't have one and you fight your way up through a bunch of stuff and it's a lot of fun. Uh Way of the Exploding Fist is sort of like what we were talking about with a Street Fighter style kung fu game. Mm -hmm. um, it's good. But the best one from the era, and if you weren't like a Commodore user or something, or one of the computer users of the time, you wouldn't have heard of this, is International Karate. Yeah. International Karate is a good time. International Karate is a good time. The moves flow. Uh, the speed is incredible. The sound is really well done. We will do International Karate sometime because it is... A good time. Here, I forgot about kicking down the door. Oh, yeah, no, I do it. I, I remembered. Ba boom Bam. That's pretty great. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. This can opener hat. Right. Is there anything else you wanted to add about this one? No, you know, I think we, I think we covered it. Uh, I hated on the birds. I complimented the art style. You know, there's not yeah. much sound. It's like kind of a. Or maybe my sound didn't work, but uh, yeah. No, that's all. That's all no, I got. No, there's not much sound. It was meant to be real quiet. Um, all right, then on that note, I'm going to transition to the thing for our next game. Yes. Boom, boom. And I haven't told you what it is. No, I know. Uh, we're playing Ultima 1 right now for our big game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like it's barely a big game, but it, it it does still fall on that side of it. Yeah. Uh, the next game, and I'm not sure how you're going to feel about this one. Because mm. I'm not talking about the 3D one. I'm not talking about the newer version of it. Oh, I know what it is. What is it? Wolfenstein. Yes, it is. Castle I played, Wolfenstein. I played that bad boy on the Apple. Okay, it was awesome. sweet. All right. I'm excited. I, I played it a little bit on the Commodore back in the day, but not enough to really get a good feel for it. And I've always wanted to. So this is going to be our our short game go back. Let's play some Castle Wolfenstein, where where that started from, and and really enjoy it. Yeah. yeah good call. Good All call. Right. Cool. And and I, I have asked you many times who recommended this game, and at first it was out of anger, uh, <laughs> but but now I would like to say thank you to the people yes. who recommend games uh because it's always like cool to to find these games and hear what other people remember right. playing so it's very very cool thank you no yeah do th we do thank you we're, I'm, we're given a little bit of drama here for the fact that i i went into this game hating it so in in the recommender's defense i don't hate it anymore i will never yeah. love it but yeah i at least can can Chaka, I hate this game off my list. It's it's no longer a yeah. good game. I appreciate it, but I don't enjoy it. Yes. So, all right. On that note, uh, I think that's it. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Bye.